British poet W.H. Auden once said, thousands have lived without love, but not one without water. And Auden was obviously right. More people die from unsafe drinking water each year than war and other forms of violence combined. This problem of access to clean water is compounded by the fact that less than 1% of the Earth's fresh water is actually accessible to us. And by 2050, global freshwater demand is expected to increase by an additional 33%, making it even more difficult to protect both people and our finite water resources. One area that must be addressed is stormwater management. Currently, when it rains, stormwater flows through our cities, picking up garbage, sediment, automotive fluids, fertilizers, and other pollutants from roofs, streets, and parking lots. And more often than not, the stormwater is untreated, resulting in these pollutants eventually flowing downstream into our rivers and lakes. When these pollutants enter these waterways, they have devastating environmental consequences, like reduced fish yields, harmful algal blooms, and they pollute our drinking water sources. So how do we stop these pollutants from entering our waterways? My unique approach is to leverage recent technological advances like low cost, low power sensors and computers that enable real-time data crunching and decision making. And this is already happening all around us. Think about smart thermostats, smart doorbells, and smart cars. But what does that look like for our water infrastructure? Imagine a city that's covered in sensors, devices that measure soil moisture and rainfall, water levels and water quality. And then they adapt the measurements in real time to control things like valves, pumps, and gates to cha change how the water is flowing through the city. So for example, imagine one neighborhood is flooded. It's completely dry. We can reroute some of the water from the dry neighborhood to, so that neither, to the dry neighborhoods, but neither neighborhood floods. To that end, my dissertation focuses on the fundamental questions that will enable cities to meet their water quality goals through smart, connected, and autonomous stormwater systems. Before I could even start tackling the fundamental questions, I needed a way to test a smart stormwater system. So I built an add-on for a computer simulation program that allows me to model water quality processes in a smart stormwater system. Essentially, with this program, I can learn how pollutant levels change as I control how, when, and where water flows through a city. Now that I can model these systems, I'm currently investigating what water quality goals can be achieved with a single stormwater asset, asset, think a pond. So imagine a pond that flows into a stream. If I could put a valve on the outlet of that pond, I can control when and how fast water is released into the stream. And with enough simulations, I can find the optimal when and how fast to release the stormwater. My preliminary results suggest that by optimally controlling the pond's valve, the released stormwater will be twice as clean as compared to the uncontrolled pond. Once I finish this work, I'll move into the last portion of my dissertation, where I will utilize what I've learned thus far to investigate how to optimally route water through an entire city, which has tens to hundreds of ponds and other types of stormwater assets. Overall, my research will result in fundamental discoveries that will not only transform water management, but also protect human life and our finite freshwater resources. And if you want to learn more about this work, you can head over to openstorm.org, uh, which you can see on the slide. Thank you.